I want a name. And I want it now. It doesn't matter. It matters to me. I don't care. It makes no difference. You know, you're just as bad as Dad. You pretend you care, but you don't. I understand this is a difficult situation, but there is still the issue of the termination. Yes, please. That's what I want. Well, we can agree on that. <sighs> However, now we have your scan results, it's clear you're over the gestation to take the abortion pills. The only option for you at this time would be for a surgical termination of the pregnancy. I was reluctant to go at first. I mean, you think, oh, third world country, don't you? But it's enjoyed a stable multi-party democracy for quite some time. Absolutely. Did you visit the Kalahari Desert? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, we, we passed through it. It's, it's a lot of sand. And the elephants. What about them? You must have seen the elephants. <sighs> I'm sorry, I lied. Excuse me? I lied about Botswana. Why would you do that? To make your travels sound more exotic, I imagine. No, I lied about travelling and all. You lied about travelling? I was in jail. Why would you lie about that? It's not exactly something you shout from the rooftops, is it? You assumed I would judge you. Well, yeah. Like the rest of the world. Do you want this job? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Do you think you can do this job? I do, yeah. And do you think you can finish this interview without telling me any more lies? Well, I can definitely do that. How many times have you been in prison? Three times. And when was the last time? I got released a couple of weeks ago. Well, you want to watch her, you know, she cheats. At everything, bingo, darts, cards. That even wasn't at our bingo session. Oh, you've not banned her. No, no, she didn't turn up. What? Hello? Yeah, yeah, it's Ruby's daddy. But, but my nana was supposed to be picking her up. Right, OK, I'll, I'll get there as quick as I can. Yeah, thanks. Sorry, Kev. <sighs> I shall phone the hospital. Okay, give me a Oh, thank you. So did Jean say what was wrong with my mother? Uh, just that the paramedics had taken her to hospital. She said she was feeling better when I spoke to her this morning. Sophie's a tough cookie. Come on, she's the toughest I know. Listen, thanks for holding the fort. Oh, no problem. But Rusty, you're always happy to help. Uh, uh hello. I, I'm inquiring about Sylvia Goodwin. It's her son, Royce and Cropper. Oh, I see. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. Thank you. How is she? Uh, heart attack. Apparently, it's not looking very good. All oh, right. How did you not get the job? And what's it got to do with Nick? She picked the lowest quote. OK, next question. Why didn't you give her the lowest quote? I put in a good price for a proper job. Have you been drinking? I had one beer in the beef store when you come inside. Oh, lovely. Oh, so you're off having a boozy lunch with your ex while we're sleeping on Lilo's and sponging off my family? Nicola is not my ex. Oh, sorry, what's her proper title? Oh, come on, that's not the issue here, Drunken is it? one night stand, shoulder to cry on when you couldn't talk to me, mother of your loved child. She paid for lunch. Sugar mummy! And you're the one that told me to go to the park with her anyway. Right, I'm going to speak to Grant. Oh, there's no point. But somebody has to do something. I can't live like no, this. Babe, babe, this is my problem and I'm going to sort it, OK? So they can fast track her because she's only 14. So she'll get an appointment as soon as possible. Oh. You okay? Yeah. Good, good, good. Uh, and listen, why don't you take Rover out for a walk? She's not been out all day. Plus, uh, she's good company if you don't want to talk to a human being. Okay. And the fresh air will do you good? Yeah, well, feel free to talk about me while I'm gone. Oh, we will. Only because you're the most important thing in our lives. All right, see ya. See ya. Bye. Right, what exactly? Shh. You seriously think she'd be listening behind the door? Well, it's what I would do. She lied to me, Steve. She told me some cock and bull story about some guy she'd met at a party. She couldn't even get the dates right. She knows exactly who the father is. She just doesn't want to tell us. Listen, I think I know one all. What? And you kept it to yourself? Well, I tried to tell you. You cut me off. Who? You're not going to like Steve, it. who? 
Simon. Oh, shut up, Steve. Simon? That's a cousin. I saw them together. There was something going on. What kind of something? Like an intimacy something. They no. were closer than cousins should be. No way. Well, it would explain all the lies, wouldn't it? No. No, I'm telling you, it's not Simon. Not in a million years. And don't go saying out to her either. She's close to the edge as it is. We've got to tread carefully. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> well, do you want me to go with you? No, oh, there's no need. Listen, I've got one meeting tomorrow. I can easily reschedule. I'm fine. But I can drive if we go in my car, and we'll get there a lot quicker. I can manage. Roy, she's dying. You shouldn't be on your own. I, actually, I prefer it like that. I, I have dealt with grief before. OK, will you promise me one thing? What? Just call me when you get there. I promise. OK, and if you change your mind, I will drive down to you. I won't change my mind. I, I ought to go. I'll call you when I, when I get there. Do you think it'll be OK? No. Yeah. Look, if you want us to go, that's fine, but your situation is something that we know a bit about. If you ever want to talk about it. Yeah, just not in here. I've got Rover tied up outside, so do you want to go for a walk? We'd love to. Why not? Good news, Ed. We didn't get Audrey's job. Well, listen, I've got a few of the leaves to chase up, so hopefully one of them comes off. I need work. I'm going to stand any chance of getting the twins. Yeah, look, Seb, I'm... I'm hanging by a thread here, mate. So the best I can do is just employ you job by job. But if something else comes up, then I'd take that if I was you, OK? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm sorry, mate. It's all right. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. I thought I was going to have an heart attack. I mean, I was beating so fast. And I was the one in labour. Must have been scary. Oh, it was. Sorry. Once it started, but giving birth's not really that scary. I wouldn't recommend what we did to anyone, though. We got it all wrong. Why didn't you tell your parents? <sighs> it seems daft now, but I was adopted. So I thought that my mum would hand me back to social services, you know, wash her hands of me. You've done the right thing. Tell your mum and dad. Yeah, well, now the whole world knows, or rather the whole school knows. I don't listen to any of that. She's right. I know it's not easy, but... Do you ever, like, wish maybe you'd done things different? Sometimes. Maybe, but... Miley's got a good home, and she lives with people who love her and care about her. Are you not sure about the abortion? He's not. Maybe she got run over. Don't say that. She's not been run over. She's... Katrina's mum got run over. Katrina Dimmock? The one with the ponytail that starts it? No, I saw her mum yesterday. She's absolutely fine. Nobody's been run over. Only me! See? There. You all right? Yep. Why? Well, what happened? What do you mean, what happened? You didn't pick Ruby up from school. And you didn't go to bingo at the community centre. Yeah, I changed my mind. I went to the big one in town. What? The one next to the little chapel on Percival Street? Yes. All oh, right. Funny that I got knocked down last year. Yeah, well, I went somewhere else. What, you're telling me that you don't remember where you've been all afternoon? I'm telling you that it's none of your business anyway. She's all right, isn't she? My dog needs his dinner. Is something up? No. No? No, fine. You've been talking about me. 
Only nice things. You're both weird. You can have a shower? Of course you can. Amy. Yeah? Listen, darling. I'm sorry if I was a bit harsh with you earlier. It's only because I care about you, babe. I know. So, are we good? Yeah. We're so rubbish at this, aren't we? She seems a bit better, though. I think the trick is to stay calm, not get wound up, get angry. Hmm. What, like you did? Yeah, like I did. Is that your phone? Well... It's a text from Simon. Jeff, keep hold of that spade. Tracy's turn today, is it? I'm afraid so. Tracy, I just want to listen. talk to him. Angel, listen to me. Simon! Just want to talk to you. Gary is part of our family. Yep. To be fair, Sarah, he's your boyfriend and you've been on and off so many times. OK, well, what about me? Am I part of this family? Could you not have done it for me? I have to take the lowest quote. Come on. Louis took all my money. Could you not have given him a chance to match it? He's a good builder. I've got to get going on this. It's my home. I haven't got time for doing and throwing. Right. Do you know, I'm not going to forget about this. I am sleeping on a lilo. Sarah. She'll calm down. You don't know our Sarah. We all forget things. I do. I bet you do too. She forgot to pick Ruby up from school. That's not good. No. I mean, it's like she doesn't even know where she's been all day. I mean, first of all, it's bingo at the community centre, then it's somewhere in town. And if I try to talk to her about it, she just gets all mad. I, I don't like to worry you, but it sounds like you should be speaking to someone who knows a lot more about all this than you or I. Yeah, like Ken Barlow? Like a doctor. Oh. Hey, do you think maybe you could suggest it to her? Nice try, but I think it'd be better coming from you. She's your family. This is your job. You're not serious. They're cousins. Step cousins. So what? And he sent a text just now. How did it go at the clinic? Yeah. Call me if you want to talk. So what? And I saw them earlier and they look kind of close. Not in a good way, neither. That's because we're mates. Look at him. Shifty. All right. He's got guilt written all, right, all over all right. his face. Just be quiet. All right, let's just get this sorted out, OK? Sorry, I'm sorry to ask you this, OK, son, but did you get Amy pregnant? No. No, OK, thank you. There you go. Well, he would say that, yes, he wouldn't he? Yes, he would say that, Tracy, because I've just looked at him and it's clearly not true. Well, I reckon we should do a DNA test. Do you know what? Go for it. I'll do any test you want. Did Amy say it, was he? No, but she won't say no, who it is. No, OK, so all this because you saw them together and he's been texting his cousin. There's no smoke without fire. There's no smoke. Do you know anything about this? No. He's lying. All right, that's enough, Tracy. Go on, get out. There's thousands of teenage boys out there. Go on, have a go at them. We are going to get to the truth about this. I promise you that. I never got her pregnant. You have always been weird All and right. twisted. All right. But this, this is disgusting! Get out. Get out. Sorry. Sorry. Look. Now they've gone, OK? I'm going to ask you again, right? And whatever your answer is, I'm your dad and I'll support you. Did you get Amy pregnant? OK, Sai, I believe you. What? He can talk to me, you know. Sometimes I don't want to talk. Sometimes I just want to drink my tea and dunk my biscuit. No, I don't mean chat. I mean, you know, really talk. Talk? What do you mean, talk? Talk talk about what? Well, anything. I don't want to talk about anything. You know, if you're worried. I'm not worried. What would I be worried about? 
going on, but are you feeling? I'm not... feeling fine. I was feeling fine until you started wittering on. Now I'm worried. Really? Yes, I'm worried you're never going to shut up. I'm just concerned, that's all. What are you concerned about? That you might be having problems with your memory. My memory? Why don't you? Get booked in at the medical centre, get checked out, just in case. In case what? In case I'm going see now? No, I never said see now. I... No. I said no. I'm very touched that you should care about the state of my mental health, but I'm not making any appointments because I'm fine. End of story. So now they think it's Simon. Yeah. Could it possibly be Simon? No, it couldn't, Dev. I asked him if it was him. He said, no, it wasn't, and I believe him. Good evening, gents. Come on, what's the burning issue of the day? Nothing, Sean. Nothing. Nothing. Keep yourself. Not uh, related by blood? No. Both underage. Yes, Dev. So would it actually be illegal if uh, they were... Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll nip over and I'll ask Adam about it. Yeah. If I could have afforded to pay the extra, my love, of course I would. But uh, I'm in such a mess losing all that money. No, it's fine. I understand. It's nothing personal. No, of course it isn't. I mean, that's what I told Sarah. I mean, money's so tight, I've got no choice. Hang on, Sarah spoke to you. Uh, yeah, she gave me a right flea in my ear. Hey, well, I asked her not to. Uh, yes, I know, and I should have told you myself, but it's just that while well, Nick was worried, you might... Might what? Well, you might not take it very well. And do what? Well, I don't know, love. I mean, it was just looking out for me like Sarah was looking out for you. Yeah, well, I'll always be fine. Don't worry about me, Audrey. No, of course you will. And someone to turn up, it always does, doesn't it, eh? Anyway, I've got a dash. I just wanted to clear the air, all right? Yeah, well, the air's clear. Who would you be more scared of? Tracy. Oh, yeah, I've seen her in action. She can't half pack a punch. Tracy Barlow is evil. We all know what she's capable of. But Steve's more sneaky. I can see him throwing a low blow, scratching, biting. Yeah, and imagine having them both on the warpath at the same time. Well, there's a young man out there somewhere who's got their daughter pregnant and wouldn't like to be in his shoes when they find him. <laughs> Me neither. Um, any news from Roy? Oh, not yet. But... Oh, sorry, um, we're closing in ten minutes. Uh, we'll give you Anne clear up if you like. Oh, would you? Thank you. That'd be great. I'm afraid on this occasion we're unable to take your application any further. Thank you for your interest. <sighs> she made such a big deal about not judging me. After she made me grovel. That is such a shame, cos you so look the part. Oh, I don't feel it. I'm better working with my hands. I feel much more comfortable in grubby overalls with oil on my fingers. You can do better than that, Abby. Thank you for your help, but... I think I'll stick to looking for jobs more suited to my unique skill set. <sighs> I need a was. Kev? Kev? All right. I need to be quick while well, Abby's in the ladies, but she didn't get the job. You couldn't give her her old job back, could you, in the garage? Eliza do a little whack me. I know that, but... All right. If you hear of anyone hiding, I'll let you know. Buy you a pint. What's the point? Can't even afford to buy you one back. I wish that I could do more, mate. Well, you can. What? Put me in touch with that bloke. Joe, I could do protection work. Not a good idea. At least I could make some quick uh, Just trust me. You don't want to get mixed up in that world. My choice. Just give us a number. It's not happening. For your own good. Evening. Um, what can I get you? Well, thanks for nothing, mate. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Thanks, Sean. Okay. Joe, it's me. <laughs> yeah, funny. Listen to your fancy pine. Right. Well, we've uh, all sat down and we're all completely calm. 
And you've got to promise to stay calm. I can't promise, but I will try. Not good enough. Steve, can you promise? How can I? Because I don't know what she's going to say. Well, if I don't get the promise, I'm not saying anything. Fine, I promise. Cross me heart, I hope to die. Right. So, I've been doing a lot of thinking while I was in the shower. And I've been talking to Faye and Craig. Craig? Not Craig. Steve. Right, so you've, uh, you've been doing some talking and some thinking. Yes, and I've decided that I'm not going to have an abortion. Well, you are not having your cousin's baby. What? It'll come out with two heads and three flipping legs. Are you mad? Amy, we know that it's Simon. But it's not Simon. I saw you both talking together. But it isn't his. You just jump into conclusions. Well, you look very cosy. What were you talking about? Well, that's none of your business. Amy, you can't have his baby. It, is but it isn't Simon. It's not Simon. It's not Simon's. It's not Simon's. Whose is it? You know what? Forget it. Just forget it. Amy! Hey. It is definitely... Simon's. <laughs> Kip. New information could lead Sam further into the murky world of insider trading, but just how far is she prepared to go? Sheridan Smith stars in Cleaning Up next. And Geordie suspects foul play when a professor dies in mysterious circumstances in New Grantchester. This coming Friday night at 9. <laughs>